The .408 Cheyenne Tactical is a specialized rimless, bottlenecked, center-fire cartridge for military long-range sniper rifles that was developed by Dr. John D. Taylor and machinist William O. Wordman. The round was designed with a possible military need for a cartridge for anti-personnel, anti-sniper and anti-materiel roles with a precision range of 2,200 yards. It is offered as a competitor to the most common military NATO long-range service cartridges such as .338 Lapua Magnum and the .50 BMG. History The .408 Cheyenne Tactical is based on the .400 Taylor Magnum, which is based on a modified .505 Gibbs, neck down to 0.408 inches. The .505 Gibbs is an old English big game cartridge that was designed to accommodate 39,160 psi pressure. One of the disadvantages to these old cartridge cases intended for firing cordite charges instead of modern smokeless powder is the thickness of the sidewall just forward to the web. During ignition, the cartridge's base, forward to the bolt face, is not supported. The case is driven back against the bolt face which results in the stretching of the case, particularly the side wall immediately forward of the web. When the side wall resists the outward expansion against the chamber, the pressure stretches the case thereby increasing its length resulting in the side wall becoming thinner at that stretch point. In the .408 JTAC cartridge casing design particular attention was directed toward thickening and metallurgically strengthening the case's web and side wall immediately forward to the web to accommodate high chamber pressures. In modern solid head cases, the hardness of the brass is the major factor that determines a case's pressure limit before undergoing plastic deformation. Lapua Limited solved this problem when they used the .416 Rigby as the parental case to the .338 Lapua Magnum. They created a hardness distribution ranging from the head and web to the mouth as well as a strengthened case web and side wall immediately forward of the web. This method results in a very pressure resistant case. Cartridge dimensions the .408 JTAC is neither officially registered with nor sanctioned by the Commission Internationale Permanente pour le Desarme a few portatives or its American equivalent, Sporting Arms and Ammunition Manufacturers Institute. Such cartridges are generally known as Wildcats. Wildcat cartridges have no official dimensions nor other performance-related specifications. Stated data about Wildcats is always informal and using them is at one's own risk. According to the Quick Load Interior Ballistics Predictor Program the cartridge case capacity of the .408 Cheyenne Tactical is about 159 grains of water. The exterior shape of the case was designed to promote reliable case feeding and extraction in bolt-action rifles, under extreme conditions. Quick load states the maximum operating piezo pressure at 63,816 psi and shows that this is a Wildcat cartridge. The common rifling twist rate for this cartridge is 330.2 mm for every 13 inch the projectile travels forward through the rifled barrel, 80.4080 in grooves, 0.4010 in bore 0 0.050 inches land width, square cut. No taper and the primer type is large rifle. The .408 Cheyenne Tactical as parent case, the .408 JTAC serves as the parent for several other second-generation Wildcat cartridges. By blowing out .408 JTAC factory cases the Wildcat generally hopes to gain extra muzzle velocity by increasing the case capacity of the factory parent cartridge case by a few percent. Practically there can be some muzzle velocity gained by this method, but the measured results between parent cartridges and their improved wildcat offspring is often marginal. An example of a blown out .408 JTAC variant is the .408 Bear. Besides changing the shape and internal volume of the parent cartridge case, wildcatters also can change the original caliber. Because the .408 JTAC offers a large and sturdy, pressure-resistant cartridge case it has become quite popular amongst wildcatters. With the .408 JTAC as the parent case wildcatters have created .338, .375, .416, and .510 caliber variants. As of 2007, 
the 0.375-inch calibre variant seemed to attract the most attention. The company that designed the CHATAC intervention rifle, CHATAC, LLC, itself offers rifles in a 0.375 CHATAC chambering in their 2007 retail price list. Projectiles most .408 JTAC factory ammunition uses solid projectiles or bullets rather than jacketed lead core bullets, which are common to most other rifle bullets. The oldest factory .408 JTAC ammunition uses bullets designed by Warren S. Jensen and originally produced by Lost River Ballistic Technologies. Currently these projectiles are produced by Jamison International where they are turned on Swiss type CNC lathes from solid bars of proprietary copper nickel alloy. The factory claims their diameter is accurate to 150 millionth, but does not provide a unit of measurement with this claim, making it somewhat vague. One noted downside to the use of solid monometal projectiles is that they tend to increase the fouling left in the rifle barrel after they are fired. Since the bullets are harder and more abrasive than the gilding metal jackets of normal jacketed bullets, they are made slightly undersized so that they may be gripped effectively by the lands of the barrel's rifling. This inevitably reduces the seal of the bullet in the barrel, allowing hot gunpowder gases to reach the sides of the projectile, vaporizing some of the material and depositing it in the ball. Other manufacturers, such as Rocky Mountain Bullet Company Vigilance Rifles, GS Custom Bullets, Lehigh Bullets and Design, Lutz Mar Paragraph Lair and TTI Armory have developed lead core or monometal very low drag projectiles for the .408 JTAC. In 2007 Dr. John D. Taylor designed a new class of armor-piercing projectiles is called the .408 J. Corey and in this configuration, it outperforms the .50 AP cartridge against armor steel and titanium. The projectile has a mass of 370 grains. Claimed penetration of AR-500 certified steel is 1 inch at 100 yards and 1 half inch at 775 yards. In 2008 factory loaded .408 JTAC 420 grain lead core bullets with 955 copper jackets became available. The very low drag bullets are made by Rocky Mountain Bullets in Phillipsburg. Montana and have a rebated boat tail and a claimed ballistic coefficient of 0.874. Factory .408 JTAC ammunition is expensive, starting at around $7 per round with Jamison International 419 grain very low drag projectiles. Equals ballistic coefficient of the Jamison 419 grain projectile equals Cheyenne Tactical claimed a Doppler radar measured G1 ballistic coefficient for the Lost River Ballistic Technologies Jamison International 419 grain bullet of roughly 0.934 and a stated BC for the 305 grain bullet of 0.611, though these numbers have been disputed by a number of knowledgeable sources. Extreme Firearms claimed the G1 BC of the same .408 JTAC projectile to average 0.945 to 2000 meters and it drops to the low 0.900s to 2800 meters. The .408 JTAC projectile remains supersonic up to 2300 yards according to Extreme Firearms. JTAC LLC claims that the 26.95 gram projectile has a supersonic range of 2,200 plus yards at standard air conditions. The average ballistic coefficient of the 419 grain is 0.945 over 3,825 yards. Jamison International states the G1BC of this bullet on their website currently at 0.940. The above variations can be explained by differences in the ambient air density used for these BC statements or differing range speed measurements on which the stated G1 BC averages are based. The BC changes during a projectile's flight and stated BCs are always averages for particular range speed regimes. Some more explanation about the transient nature of a projectile's G1 BC during flight can be found at the external ballistics article. This article implies that knowing how a BC was established is almost as important as knowing the stated BC value itself. Equals balanced flight controlled spin projectile equals, Lost River Ballistic Technologies stated that the .408 JTAC is the first bullet rifle system that utilizes what they call a balanced flight projectile. 
To achieve balanced flight the linear drag has to be balanced with the rotational drag to keep the very fine nose of the bullet pointed directly into the oncoming air. It should result in very little precession and yaw at extreme range and allows accurate flight back through the transonic region. This is hard to achieve for small arms projectiles. Mathematically you are at a great disadvantage trying to achieve balanced flight with a lead core non-monometal bullet. The rotational mass surface area ratio is too high. 2. The balanced flight projectile patent can be found at the U.S. Patent Office, Controlled Spin Projectile, USPAT number 6629669. According to the patent a projectile engraved and launched in accordance with the patent should decelerate from supersonic flight through transonic to subsonic in a stable and predictable manner effective to a range beyond 3,000 yards. It implies that amongst several other preconditions the rifle barrel has to have specific rifling dimensions to achieve a desired amount of axial air drag on the bullet's surface, which reduces the bullet's spin rate to achieve balanced flight. The patent does not account for normally occurring differences in air density. More about balanced flight can also be found in the CHE TAC information papers. The balanced flight controlled spin projectile bullet patent has been questioned disputed by the German physicist Lutz Mar Paragraph Lair. Mr. Mar Paragraph Lair realized balanced flight has to do with the nature of spin stabilized flight and scale of parameters. There were projectiles produced prior to the patent that remained stable through the transonic flight regime. This is a consequence of the spin deceleration and forward deceleration of the projectile being similar enough not to cause undesirable precession and yaw during the transonic flight phase. The main parameter for achieving stable transonic transition is controlling the drag coefficients and forward velocity loss around Mach 1 and to a lesser degree controlling the spin deceleration. In other words, any bullet with appropriate drag behavior around Mach 1 and mass will do exactly what the balanced flight projectile patent states. Performance The cartridge delivers accurate performance from a sniper rifle platform. The Lost River Ballistic Technologies Jamis and International 419 grain very low drag bullet is the standard, long range sniping load. Lost River Ballistic Technologies also designed a 305 grain bullet for the battlefield domination round. The BDR is loaded with a 305 grain bullet and is intended for short and medium range application using the point blank range aiming method. Equals supersonic range equals, for a typical .408 JTAC chambered gun, shooting 27.15 gram Lost River Ballistic Technologies bullets at 884 meters per second muzzle velocity, the supersonic range will be 1930 m under international standard atmosphere sea level conditions. For a typical .375 JTAC chambered gun, shooting 24.30 gram Lost River Ballistic Technologies bullets at 930 meters per second muzzle velocity, the supersonic range would be 2230 m under international standard atmosphere sea level conditions. Improvement beyond this standard while still using standard .375 JTAC brass is possible but the bullets have to be very long and the normal cartridge overall length has to be exceeded. The common .375 JTAC 292mm rifling twist rate also has to be tightened to stabilize very long projectiles. The use of such a .375 JTAC based cartridge demands the use of a custom or customized rifle with an appropriately cut chamber and a fast twist ball. An example of such a special .375 caliber extreme range bullet is the German CNC manufactured monometal 26.44 gram .375 Viking as calculated by its designer, Mr. Lutz Mar Paragraph Lair, and not proven by Doppler radar measurements. This bullet has since exhibited dynamic stability problems and is no longer produced. The .375 Viking bullet had an overall length of 70 mm and derived its anticipated low drag from a radical LD hook or Sears hook profile in the bullet's nose area. Rifles chambered for this Wildcat cartridge, with a cartridge overall length of 119 mm, were to have been equipped with custom-made 762 mm long 203 mm twist rate barrels. In theory, Mr. Ma Paragraph Lair calculated that a typical .375 JTAC chambered gun, 
shooting is now defunct 26.44 gram.375 biking bullets at 870 meters per second muzzle velocity, would have a supersonic range of 3090m under international standard atmosphere sea level conditions. However, field testing of this projectile proved it to be completely unstable, and useless at any velocity, or range. This was established in February 2009 by Terry Holstein, an Oklahoma State trooper, who is the only person to ever have fired the Viking. It would appear that Mr. Ma Paragraph Lair did not test this projectile prior to public release whereby the dynamic instability would have been discovered. The ballistic coefficient of this bullet has never been verified, therefore the supersonic range using this projectile cannot be determined due to the instability and unknown ballistic coefficient regardless of the claims made. Chambering Availability The .408 Cheyenne tactical chambering is offered for these factory rifles, BCM Europe Arms SAS. JTAC Intervention Rifle Series, JTAC LLC. EDM Arms XM04 PGWDTI Timberwolf .408 JTAC and .416 PGW Rifle, Prairie Gunworks Defense Technologies Inc. Norton Machine LLC Lobe of Sniper Rifle, Grand Armeria Camuna Precision Rifles, RND Manufacturing, Inc. Tactolite T1AR 15.408 JTAC Upper, Thor XM408, Vigilance Rifles VO1 Desert Tactical Arms HTI, several high-quality large tactical and match custom bolt actions were designed for the .408 Cheyenne tactical cartridge and were becoming available as of 2007. These semi-custom bolt actions are used with other high-grade rifle and sighting components to build custom sporting and target rifles. Such rifles are ordered by long-range accuracy-oriented shooters and built by specialized highly skilled gunsmiths and can cost thousands of dollars. When built to expectation such rifles are very accurate to Euro 0.5 MOA or better consistent accuracy for a particular rifle optimized ammunition is considered normal. Only expert marksmen can make use of this extreme accuracy potential. See also, .505 Gibbs, JTAC intervention, 10 mm caliber, .338 Lapua Magnum, 0.416 Barrett, list of sniper rifles, list of individual weapons of the U.S. Armed Forces, table of handgun and rifle cartridges. References. 0.408 Cheetok Intervention at World of Firearms, 0.408 JTAC Trip Report, Shooters Observations and Test Results by Dean McAleys, Barrett 0.416 vs Cheyenne Tactical 0.408, Precision Rifle 400 HE TOC Project. External links, JTAC website, Controlled Spin Projectile at Google Patents, Quivedis GmbH webpage on the .408 HE TAC, Jamison International, Lobe of Arms.